What do you guys think next season is gonna be the dominant weapon archetypes? And I'm gonna share my thoughts with you guys, but I would love to hear your thoughts on this because I've been thinking about this a lot, like with all the changes coming up, uh, especially with the three peaking going away. So these two archetypes that I think will be more dominant, especially one of them, is snipers i feel like snipers are gonna be absolutely insane next season and there's obviously a reason for that right three peaking is going away guys and i don't think people realize how much that is gonna affect the crucible and you will see a lot of a lot of players fall off a lot of players that just do this every encounter and just watch you push in and then do their shit those people are going to be kind of in trouble because the reason a lot of people do this is because of I would say less on they have they have they don't have as much understanding of map control and environmental control as they should so this is the easy way to fix it right stand over here and you can pretty much see that side if you need to you move this way and all of this is going away next season and i truly believe that as soon as this goes away a lot of people are gonna struggle especially the ones that are dependent on like let's say they have a shotgun and they do this they see you move and then they slide out to get you you know it completely changes the pace of the game it really does for example if if somebody's standing right over there let's say over there around the heavy with a sniper and you're right here three peaking obviously his positioning doesn't do shit because you know exactly where he is which means it's very easy to call it out for one and then you probably will just run to the other point let's say up here you know, you're standing here with the sword and you, and if he repositions, you can still see him. Then you switch to whatever you're trying to, you know, use and try to take him out. Pretty much what 3 Peaking in Destiny 2 does is it kills positioning and it's, it's just not supposed to be in the game. Now, as soon as this shit is gone, right, even if you peek once and you see the guy, the thing is, on the radar, he's going to be on the same spot. However, for example, if he's a warlock or something, and if he floats in the air or, well, th in this position, he can't really do it. So let's check this one right here. Let's say you peek right here. You see the sniper and you think, okay, on the radar, he's on the same spot. So I'm going to re-peek and try to get him. But for example, he's top tree dawn. He consumes the grenade. He's high up in the air. You don't really expect that. And now without three peeking, you have no fucking idea where he is so you are gonna get clapped and that is gonna create a lot of really cool plays in the crucible and i've been waiting for this for a very very long time and i think this change is gonna be amazing and it's going to really help the people that are good at positioning and trying to flank or whatever just have some smart plays in the game uh, and currently three peaking just deletes all of that you you can't really get you know reposition to take out a person because he just stands like this and he sees everything so i think next season snipers are gonna be better than they've ever been and i also think that the second archetype after snipers that are gonna kind of move up the ladder is gonna be bows and i feel like this is what's gonna happen next season if it's not lemon arc other bows legendary bows i don't think the other exotic bows are as powerful wish ender is probably the second place and then i would say tikus and then trinity ghoul when it comes to pvp but even legendary bows because the fact is bows deal a big chunk of damage and any weapon that is a precision weapon that does tons of damage can be extremely powerful especially when your weapon when your enemies sorry don't know where you are positioned and when three peaking will be gone this will be very very cool because for example if you're using a bow the guy who is standing let's say over there if he's not three peaking he has to peek normally right and uh, when he just peeks out you have an advantage because you know you just look at the radar and you're not afraid of that three peak anymore so you know that he has to kind of peek out to uh, to see where you are and that's a huge advantage for a bow user and especially for a sniper user and if you're using a bow with the hand cannon with the quick swap right it's it's really cool and really easy to get that pick especially in modes like let's say trials competitive shit like that it is very very fast and the and the kill time is just pretty much instant and it's very powerful to get that first pick and snipers and bow and hand cannon swaps in that regard are very very powerful obviously snipers are just 
I would say better in terms of getting those picks if you're a good sniper and as we mentioned if we talk about for example the top three dawn uh, with the grenade consumption for example when you do that man you can position in some crazy places and the place that you can make is really really cool right and that's what I'm waiting for. That's why I think that next season, snipers are gonna be way better than they've ever been. And as mentioned, bows are gonna move up the ladder. And I think we will see more bows in the Crucible. And especially with the slide nerf, shotgunners are gonna be having a bit more trouble now covering that uh, range and getting to people faster. And it, even if they do, the, that pellet spread is gonna make a difference. So it's also gonna make it easier for us to shut down shotgunners. Granted, honestly, I don't have any problems against shotgunners even currently, because for example, if I know uh, if, if on the radar I see somebody's around the corner, I usually what I try to do is rush, then I bait him and do a little hop back and then kind of get the pick, right? And as the more you play with the bow and hand cannon setup, you really do get used to this. And it's kind of for me when I see shotgunners, I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. I can win way easier against shotgunners than, for example, I can against snipers. Because a good sniper, it can be a nightmare, right? It's an instant kill and it's just so good. And there are a lot of good snipers right now in the game that struggle because of three peaking. So as soon as that is gone, I feel like snipers, are, as mentioned, are going to lead the way in the crucible. They're going to be very dominant so all the snipers in the chat rejoice your time is gonna be here next season and you're gonna be better than ever trust me on that if you can wield a sniper you're gonna be slapping and for the bow users i truly believe that next season and keep in mind we're talking console here bows are gonna be more dominant than they have been in the past we haven't seen bows that much at all in d2 from the beginning but uh, for the beginning obviously i mean forsaken however i have seen more bows lately and i feel like that number is gonna go up simply because the bows are very hard hitting weapons all the bows do tons of damage and if you can land those shots the fact that not only it it's a good 1v1 weapon if you're swapping to something else obviously but it's an amazing support weapon the fact that you can just damage someone and do tons of damage makes it extremely easy for your teammate to get a cleanup kill so next season yeah it's it's bow time in my opinion we're gonna see more bows in the crucible and i'm kind of excited to see that a lot of people that you know are are bow fans and like the play style with the bows are gonna have a great time so yeah that was one of the things i wanted to talk with you guys about uh the the meta coming up in next season as mentioned i don't think a lot of people realize how three peaking really affects destiny 2 and i truly believe that when it's gone these two weapons are gonna move up